Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solomon Scott Selections here for Sunday, January 23rd. For again, today's play of the day, a quick recap of yesterday. A couple of UFC plays to go through, so I'll go through them quickly. We ended up having a not-so-great day to go through everything. We had Stamen twin by decision at plus 320 on Fox Bet. That was not even close, as he ended up losing, I believe, in the first minute of the fight, and a pretty shocking result. Uh, Stamen's been known to go to a lot of decisions. That was not the case last night. He lost handily. Then we had our first arbitrage play with Moreno Moneyline and Figueredo by decision. Figueredo did win by decision, so he did pick up 1.8 units there. And then we ended up having Nangano by knockout and Gone by decision, and we lost both. And unfortunately for us, Gone was up 2 nothing on two of the three scorecards through two rounds. We needed him to win one more round against the guy who has never won a fight by decision in his career. And Gon fell apart, lost the next three rounds, had that really dumb leg lock attempt while he was in top mount or top position in the fifth round. Definitely brutal there. So he went 1-4 for negative 1.77 units. Had Gon not choked away the fight, we would have been up two plus units. So pretty big swing there. Pappins look for a winner here on Sunday. And for the play today, looking at the main football game, people want to talk about between the Bills and the Chiefs taking place at around 6 p.m. Eastern time. For the play that we're going to be looking at a prop here, and we're going to be looking at Patrick Mahomes. And the prop we like is his longest completion over 36 and a half yards at minus 113 on FanDuel. Time recording of 10 a.m. Eastern time. Cumberton's why I like Mahomes' longest completion to go over. First of all, 36 and a half is a pretty solid price. The line's currently available at 37.5 on DraftKings, so you're saving a yard. It was 38.5 at DraftKings earlier, but you are saving one yard right now just by shopping around. Plus, Mahomes, I know that he was off to a bit of a slow, I'd say, middle of the season, but you look at the longest completions he's had week by week, he's been crushing this number. Mahomes has gone over 36.5 yards in each of the last nine games. So Kansas City is definitely known for some big plays. That's been the case for the last couple of months. I expect that to continue at least one time on Sunday. Plus, Buffalo's defense has really been, I'd say, vulnerable to giving up big plays. Buffalo has allowed a 40-plus yard completion in each of its last three games, including the absolute blowout against the Patriots last week where Kendrick Bourne actually had a 40-plus yard reception. But you want to look at some other factors here. Buffalo's defense, I know, look great against New England last week. Not really sure how good New England's offense actually is. Compare that to Kansas City and the fact that Tredavious White, who is Buffalo's best corner, is still out for the season. I do think Buffalo's secondary should look pretty, I don't want to say underwhelming, but significantly worse against Kansas City's passing attack in this game. I think you'll see Mahomes aired out several times, either to Hill on 101 coverage, either to Kelsey on 101 coverage, or even to Robinson or just Hardman, et cetera. But the point is, Kansas City has a bunch of deep play guys, and I do think that Buffalo's corners in particular are vulnerable. The safeties we know are good with Hyde, et cetera. But I do think if you're going to be trying to guard the Chiefs in one-on-one coverage for most of the game, you are going to see Mahomes take a bunch of shots, and all we need is one of those shots to be completed. Plus, of course, Kansas City, got to mention the weather in late January, and the weather is completely fine. It's going to be 4 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, you know, a little cold, but nothing crazy. And there's really going to be no wind, about 6 miles per hour throughout. So I'm not expecting weather to play much of a factor. I'm not expecting a snowstorm like it was in Green Bay last night. What I am expecting is Mahomes to air it out and to have some success against this injured Buffalo secondary. And I do think at the end of the game, Mahomes will have at least one completion that is 37 yards or more. So that's been this installment of Scott's selections here for Sunday, January 23rd. Good luck to all of you and your respective best today. Bye, everyone.